for coming up on 1030 on this Tuesday morning. You know what that means. It's time for Celebrity Dish. So today we have Coco Louie, and I just told her she's giving Dorothy Dandridge <laughs> yes. vibes today. So elegant, soft, the so I love that. I'm I'm trying to give all the vibes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you are succeeding. How have you been? Very good. How about you guys? Pretty good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Enjoying this weather. I'm yeah. happy that it's here. Hopefully it'll stay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You're a d &B girl. You already know. Yeah. <laughs> Very bipolar. Very bipolar. But it's okay. It's I okay. just can't believe you guys know each other for all these years. It's just, just such a small me. world. Mm -hmm. wow. Crazy. Mm -hmm. We went to school together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, <laughs> small world's getting a little bit smaller. So uh -huh. we're going to dig into this dish because just when we thought she's done it all, Taylor Swift added yet another big win to her mm. resume. And Chris, at this point, that resume is on his third or fourth volume. I'm just trying to keep up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. She breaks a record, and then she releases a new album, and she breaks another record. And that's exactly what we're talking about now. Taylor Swift has dominated all top 10 spots on Billboard's Hot 100 once before. She did it with Midnight's, but now the pop star is claiming the top 14 spots on the Billboard Hot 100, and she's doing it with her new era, the Tortured Poets Department. Tortured Poets is her 14th chart-topping album, tying her with Jay-Z for the most number ones by a solo artist. That's when it comes to albums. When it comes to singles leading the Hot 100, Fortnite is Swift's 12th chart topping hit. Now you guys talked about hot takes a little earlier and I have one I'm curious what you think of. Would it matter if the music was good when it comes to the Swifties or are they automatically going to send this to number one? This is a great question mm -hmm. and I appreciate you asking this Chris because I think sometimes we see the body of work and we don't really adjust to the actual changing of the times for her and the artist. We see her as the pop star. You see parents saying listen this doesn't speak to my child anymore. Mm -hmm. But she's evolved. She's a different yeah. artist. So I think you got to address her in that moment as an artist. Well, I think, too, great point, uh, mm -hmm, Stephen. Mm -hmm. Is the music good? And this is something that a lot of artists, not just Taylor Swift, we're yeah. talking about, but when you have artists who are hugely popular and have strong, loud, and proud fan bases, mm -hmm. they're going to support that single and that album no yeah. matter what it sounds like. Yeah. And, and does it take anything away from the record breaking if the music isn't maybe critically acclaimed. Mm. I think that's what, what Chris is asking. I don't think that it does, but it definitely does play a role because if you buy into the person and all that they have to give, you're going to just kind of be biased because you love that artist so much. And so it's like they can do no wrong in your eyes. But, you know, when you're within your own friend group, oh, maybe that song wasn't the greatest. But, you know, you're still going to support because you love that artist so much. So I don't think it should take away from it being critically acclaimed like it's still she's still breaking records so and that within itself is a talent to have yeah. a fan base that loves you yeah. so much to break to buy record. it anyway well i think when it comes to the fan base growing with the artist right yeah. you hear a lot of people jackie off the bat knew what some songs meant or mm -hmm. what certain you know lyrics stood for or yeah. what you know it reflected at a certain point in her life so i think it's just an attachment to that person like you say mm -hmm. That artist, and as they just grow with them, whether the music is good or not, mm -hmm. I think they're still going to be ride or dies regardless. I think we have gotten so consumed with trying to break records that we're not actually making good music anymore. People are just trying to get stats. They're trying to get to the next level, but not actually making quality music. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem that we live in right now. And then even that is subjective. I see. There like, we go. Like, you can't not win, Chris. Not good yeah. music. I just want good music. That's all. Right. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Now let's talk yeah. about somebody who has a little bit of, you could say, a contentious relationship with her own fans. And we are talking about Doja Cat because she is letting her fans know what she thinks of them bringing their kids to her concert. So the star took to Twitter with a word to fans that they better leave their kids at home if they plan on coming to see her because her music is not for children. So Doja Cat made that statement over a series of profanity-laced tweets, and while some took issue with her delivery, most people say she actually has a point that a lot of music these days are, is not meant for children's ears and that parents need to do a better job of monitoring what their kids hear. Yeah, there's no more kids bop anymore. <laughs> you know? Well, it, it, I think kids bop is going strong. <laughs> the kids know the songs better than we do. Right. You know, Sexy sure. Red is another artist, and I didn't even know some of the stuff that she was. <laughs> but I was dancing to the beat. That's how yeah, they get you, Chris. You get wrapped really up in that. That is thing. true. But I, I agree. I agree wholeheartedly, and I think that I applaud her for saying that because a lot of times people think, oh, again, the beat or whatever, but you really have to listen to what your kids are listening to and what they're saying. And 
if she's coming out on stage with whatever she has on or the lyrics are saying whatever, you're, why are you letting your child listen to that if they're not of that age? And I applaud her again for saying, hey, this ain't that. So don't bring the kids here, right. okay? It's so I love keep that. Keep away from kids. Yeah. 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 And at the same mm -hmm. time, if you're a fan, don't you already know that? And if you want to yeah, you bring should. your kid, that's just your style mm -hmm. of parenting, right or wrong. True, true. But then try. you shouldn't hold the artist accountable at that point because you know this mm -hmm. is the delivery, this is what they're giving. Yeah. So. And if you didn't know, she told you. Yeah. I just think <laughs> that some part. people may just have an issue with how she delivered it, but yeah. at the end of the day, she's she's going to be her, and she's going to deliver it her way. Mm -hmm. And how you, you know, choose to take it is really on you. Yeah. But at least she kind of gave you the disclaimer. Mm. Okay, Doja Cat. She certainly did. <laughs> All right, we waited long enough. Let's talk about Beyonce now, because she may be making her long-awaited return to the MTV VMAs. We still have to wait a little while because those aren't until after summer, but sources close to the star say she's expected to perform at the 40th VMAs in celebration of her record-breaking album, Cowboy Carter. This will be... be, be I'll start over there. This will be Beyonce's first performance since 2016 when she gave that mind-blowing 16-minute performance of her Lemonade medley. That same night, she also took home eight wins, which it will not surprise me if she takes home some more for this album. But guys, I also love seeing Beyonce a little more front and center with this new album. I'm excited. I yeah. hope this is true. <laughs> I know it's word on the street, but uh, that last medley she did with Lemonade was just a masterclass, mm -hmm, I mm -hmm, think, in a live mm -hmm. performance at an award show. It really turned into a Beyonce concert. I no. forgot I was watching the MTV VMAs. Seriously, seriously. And I hope all artists take note at how she is just, she's just top tier. She's just top tier. And it wouldn't surprise me because it is such a milestone year for them that she's going to pop out again with a fire album. So, hey, Beyonce, grow up, you want. Everybody make that happen. What your break? I can see the horses now. Yeah, I I mean, see <laughs> she is by far the best performer of our time. Absolutely. I mean, it, it, it's almost hard to even equate her to anybody else because she is so good mm -hmm. at it. Yeah. She's brilliant at putting together compositions. She's brilliant at putting together performances. Mm -hmm. And guess what? If we get to see it for free, Okay. <laughs> if it ain't for free, it ain't for me. All right. After spending all my money for Renaissance, I there need a little free there relief. I'm here for free okay. 99. Coco Louie, thank you so much. Yes. Thank you guys for having me. Thanks for coming. All right. Big stars coming oh, up, Jacqueline. Boy.